I never thought about sustainability before. It's never passed my mind before I've taken the class. I live in Canarsie, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, I guess, is a not so eco-friendly <laughs> place where I live. Because we're in New York City, it provides a very shocking view of, of what we're capable of doing to the planet. They're familiar with concepts of climate change and fossil fuels. I don't think that they've ever been exposed to any sort of class where you go really in depth, especially to the point where you're making measurements about your daily life and its impact on those things. That's bad. Why is Prospect Park soil acidic? With our friends, we've never talked about it. They'd rather talk about shopping, so we don't really have the opportunity to talk about real world problems. It's important that people start thinking about sustainability right now because within the students that I'm teaching now, lifetime, run into issues related to the changing climate and other unpredictable things that will come with it. We like to think about them as eventualities, but really the realities that are coming. Before I got into the class, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna take a class on ecosystem, the environment, and things like that, but what am I gonna get away from it? I've always wanted to be doing work with storing trees and things like that. At this age, I didn't know what was the best way to do that and how I could actually become involved. We were learning about plastic bottles, and I was just like, how does our stuff that we use here, New York City, get to this deserted area in our earth, in the water, where fish have to live? In that video, I guess, was my moment where I was just like, all right, it has to stop. I gotta fix it. <laughs> it has to be me. What are you guys doing? Digging the trash. Why? To find um, plastic bottles and disposable cups. We went on a trip to two power plants. One was solar and then one was, I guess, your basic natural gas. We came back and we said, all right, now here's the path that we're going. We need to figure out how much energy we're using inside the school and how can we reduce that level. Everybody in this class in my module has spent a lot of time doing a really comprehensive energy audit of six different rooms in the school. We all came up with three action plans. The first was to create garden beds. And our second action plan was creating birdhouses. No, Kevin, Kevin, you're gonna hurt me, you're gonna hurt me. And then our third was cleaning out the tree pits. So we're also planting bulbs inside of these, and that's obviously gonna benefit the trees. I think it's important for kids to start thinking about it now because, and particularly with the Eco Schools program, showing them that they can make a difference now, that they can measure their impact and then reduce it, take action themselves without waiting for permission or international agreements to solve these problems. At first, I was just learning about environmental science in general and learning about Earth system and different processes, but this class actually taught me about my actual um, connection with the community itself. Sustainability is using resources in a way that make it so that other people have the same amount to use as you do. This generation, I feel like, is going to be sort of the leaders of tomorrow with how we treat our Earth and our environment. But it's more than just me or my friends or people in a class. It needs to be a, a huge group of people that can say this with confidence and bravery. <laughs> In the United States, we have about 3,000 schools, and in the city here, five boroughs, we have about 210. Your school is only the third in the city to get this award. I might need some volunteers to come up here because this is a very large flag. When I found out that was from his two iSchool Biodiversity and iSchool Energy course, I was just like, whoa, wait, this is like the highest award for that. It proves that us as students, we do care about things that our teachers are wanting to teach us, especially if it's dealing with the environment in his courses. Small changes by individuals are really what do matter. And that sounds corny, but we end up with these huge problems because of the actions of individuals. And the solution can only come from individuals acting together. You saw a big turnout tonight. A lot of kids came to the award ceremony and really supported us. Us being recognized is the start of something new, I would say. And once this gets out, people are going to be more interested in that 
and I'm pretty sure more schools will want to put this program into their school. But I think it's really important for them to see that kind of recognition because I think it reinforces the fact that the work that they're doing is impressive and it's ambitious and it's good work and worthy of recognition and it's real. I now know that New York probably needs me and I probably need New York more than ever.